Well, welcome back. Fall is here along with the return of packed family schedules, to-do lists. And those everyday chores can really build up and confronting them can seem like an impossible task. So this morning, we're helping you out. TikTok sensation, Armin Adamian is going to show us how we can make some progress. He goes by Creative Explained. He's best known for his tips and tricks that really make life a lot easier. Millions of followers on TikTok. Check it out. Here's some hacks that'll blow your mind. Oranges. Just slice them in half, pull on each end, and eat it. Tea bags have a secret. Check this out. Put the tea bag in your favorite mug. Put the string through the handle. And you see this little slit in the middle? Well, that's for the string to rest on. Like this. Pour in the water, and the tea bag will stay in place. It's genius. It's crazy. This stuff is genius. Absolutely. So you, we've set up a table yep. so you can walk us through some additional hacks here. You've been doing this since high school, by the way, right? Nope. How I started like two years ago. Oh. So yeah, right when lockdown happened. Oh. So. So, but you've been making videos long. I've been making videos since like 18, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So okay. quite a while. But you've become quite a superstar just like with life hacks. That was never really the intention. I know. It just kind of, I, I just wanted to help people. And right. then. So help us this morning. <laughs> Tell me about these cucumbers in the Ziploc bag. All right, cucumbers. You want to keep them fresh for long, everybody puts them in the fridge. But yes. don't put cucumbers in the fridge. Instead, what you want to do is grab your cucumbers, yep. put them in a Ziploc bag yep. like this, grab something sharp, scissors, and just poke some holes, and then keep them on your kitchen counter. That's it. That's How it. long will they last? They'll last about 14 days versus like three, four, and they get all mushy. You give, know? Me, give me the asparagus okay. and the green onions here. Green onions, asparagus. You know, first of all, if you take the green onions and chop off the ends, yeah. put them in a glass of, of water, they'll regrow. That's one. But to keep them fresh for like 14 days, just put them in a jar like that, get some water, fill it up just until it covers like maybe an inch. Yeah. And then replenish that water every day if it, you know, you evaporates. You can in the fridge there, right? No, yeah. Uh, you can keep it in the fridge, but since they have the water that they need, yeah. uh, they'll be good outside too. All right. Um, lettuce. This is my uh -huh. I, I, Go ahead. This is my favorite one. Yeah. Because everybody's opened lettuce before, a uh, fridge, their fridge before, and it's all mushy. Yes, right? after like two days. Yep, but now, by using foil, all you gotta do is wrap it around the foil like that, and then stick it in the fridge. They'll stay crispy. That sound, that yeah. crispy sound, will be there in 30 days. 30 days. <laughs> 30 days, even more sometimes. Any kind of lettuce, or don't, that only work with certain kinds of lettuce? Uh, mo uh, romaine is the one that I've tested with, you okay. know? <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Taco magic, this is really awesome. Sometimes you want a hard taco shell. Yeah. Um, quick tip, just get a soft taco shell, put it in a glass like that, yeah. stick it in, in a microwave, zap it for 30 seconds, take it out, and then you have... Are you kidding me? Go ahead, crunch it, crunch it, crunch it. That's, See, that's legit. That's actually. 30 seconds, that's you know? That's legit. Okay. Boom. What are we doing with the water here? Boiling water, water. Boiling mashed potatoes, vegetables, or pasta, and then a boiling water starts to almost come out of the pot. Yeah. Don't do that. Just put a wooden spoon over that, and the water stays in. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's like magic. Seriously? It really, it feels like magic sometimes. Okay. What's this? <laughs> All right, this, uh, people, herbs, they just pick the... It takes pick, me forever. Yeah, it does, but don't do that. Just put it through one of the holes like that, and then, oh, yeah, yep, it yeah. fell. Let's just do it this way. It's easier. And you just pull from the other end, and Are look, you at, look, 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 look at that. What? Dude. You know, and it works with everything. Uh, cilantro, parsley. Yes. So much time uh, saved. This is, Tom Yamas was talking about this one earlier. This is another genius one. Strawberries. I, I wonder if they, they called the strawberry because of this, but if you take a straw and put it through the berry, yeah. uh, look what happens. It just pops out the green part, which means don't be one of those people that chop off the ends and then waste like a quarter of a strawberry. Yeah. You know, uh, just use a straw, pop it through, and then less waste. That's genius. Yeah. Dude, how do you come up with these? Do you like just sit around and you, you, you look at things and you're like, you know what, I think I might be able to make this a little easier. I can do this more efficiently. It really happens like uh, randomly. Like it could be uh, I open up a fridge, I see something or I spill something and I think, oh, it's got to be a solution. Yeah. It just, it, my ideas come from everywhere. And I, I, don't, I don't even know sometimes. I don't even know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. I love the glasses, by the way. <laughs> thank you. We are back with Today Food and this morning, this morning, it's that dynamic duo behind Bosch, Henry Firth, Ian Thiesby. These guys just released their cookbook. It's called Bosch on a Budget. They bring us easy, affordable plant-based recipes that are good for our bodies, good for our budgets, and also good for the planet. 
Good to have you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having us. It's you've great got to be here. Millions of followers online. You've got quite the quite the following. So we want to have you in to sort of introduce us to some of your most popular recipes. And this got my attention immediately. This is jackfruit. That is jackfruit. This is the world's yeah. largest uh -huh. tree-born fruit, and it grows in Central Africa and in Southeast Asia. Okay. But if you see this in the supermarket, be brave. Don't buy this one. Just don't buy this one. Buy it in a tin. And this is what we've got here. We've got jackfruit in a tin. Okay. And uh, the, the to prepare it, it's really, really simple. Just take your fingers and break it up. Because as you can see here, there's all these shreds and all these fibers, and that is the perfect thing to mimic meat. Okay, so, yeah, so what are we gonna make here with this jackfruit? So we're gonna make some lovely jackfruit wings. They're gonna be like a chicken wing, but we're using that jackfruit, and then we're gonna add loads of flavor, essentially make a mix. So that's nooch going in there. We've then got some jerk seasoning for that lovely kind of heat, okay. a bit of paprika, some soy sauce, because everything is plant-based, right? So we're trying to add these flavors, ah. add the color, add the umami, and a bit of oil that's going to replicate the kind of meaty oiliness okay. and then add in that jackfruit mix this bad boy together don't be afraid to get your hands in there let you do it's it. gonna yeah. get messy it's absolutely fine but then what's gonna happen is we're gonna just form it into these wonderful little wings are you gonna make the shape of the wing you're wings. gonna create ah, the shape of a wing exactly it. in your hands yep. And your wing is right. going to look just like this. And, and what do we have here? So this is panko breadcrumbs, okay. Japanese breadcrumb, nice and dry. And what, essentially what we do is just stick it in there, fold it through. This is going to give a nice crispy crust, these wonderful wings. Oh, and we're going to good, right? Oh. Are you into that? <laughs> we're going to fry this, OK? And then we're frying it for uh, about two to three minutes. What kind of oil do you have here? Uh, that's just like reg regular vegetable oil. Sunflower oil, oil yeah. vegetable right, oil. So now we've got the yep. chicken done. We're going to do our fries, OK? So these are parboiled, just to make them a little bit softer on the inside. We're going to add a bit more more of that jerk seasoning just to kind of continue on that flavor pinch of salt some oil really get a little bit of oil on there and then we're going to let the oven do the work they're going to take about 30 minutes in the oven until they're just perfect now these are really good on their own but oh, those are good sauce so this is a scotch bonnet and uh, pineapple sauce and it's absolutely delicious but quite spicy so watch yourself um, what, what kind of potatoes do you guys use for your, your fries? Uh, russet potatoes. Russet potatoes. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's good too. Yeah. So, yes. this, so that's your main course, but now we're going to give you a dessert as well. Okay. And the dessert we're going to give you is a brownie, but the secret ingredient is potato. Oh. That sounds good. We're going to make a brownie right? with yeah. potatoes. Yeah, yeah. that's right. It's do crazy. you taste the potato that's in the brownie? Not yet. Uh uh. I didn't taste I, I the potato. I finished my wings. I see that. <laughs> I actually, <laughs> Nate shared one with me, but we both thought oh. they were delicious. Try the brownie and let me know if you All taste right, the potato. Okay. Uh -huh. There's no egg, obviously. This, this potato is going to act as a binder, but first we need to soften it and steam it, as Ian is doing here. Yeah, and once that's steamed off for 30 to Yummy. 40 minutes, Yummy. pop it in your food Just processor, it. whack it on, so it's nice and blended, and we're going to add some vegetable oil as well. Okay. There we go. Perfect mixture. Okay, so I'm just adding, I've got a melted chocolate mixture down below. I'm just going to actually not sieve that in and pour that through. But this is our brownie batter. Now what we'll do is we'll actually take that potato. There you give go. Your hand Thank there, you dude, very much. And we'll just fold it through. Okay. Be careful not to overmix it. All right, and then when we put it in the oven, how long do we bake this? Exactly. So then we're going to finish that mix, pop that in a skillet. That'll take about 16, 17 minutes okay. in an oven. What's the word? Very good. What's the, okay. Kind of nutty and, yeah, yeah. doesn't taste potato-y. No, taste no, potato -y. Really. Ian, thank you so much. Grab Bosch on a budget. It's uh, at today.com slash shop. Find their recipes at today.com slash food. Preparing three meals a day all the time is not only exhausting, but it can actually be really expensive. Today, nutritionist Joy Bauer is about to make your life easier with some super simple recipes. And the best part is Ooh. they won't bust the budget. Look at Joy. Hi, Hi Joy. Joy. Hey. hey, hey guys. And that's right. You can feed your family a healthy and a delicious dinner for under $10. And I'm going to whip up my crispy chicken tenders and an indulgent creamy tacaroni and cheese. So check it out. First, I have three quarters cup of breadcrumbs and bonus points if you could find whole grain. I'm adding in some toasted wheat germ and this is loaded with nutrition. Now I have some Parmesan cheese grated, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and then some kosher salt. And I'm going to mix this up. And here I have two beaten eggs. So I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to bring my baking sheet. And this process is so simple, you won't believe it. 
So here I have two pounds of chicken tenders and I got them on sale and I'm dipping them in my egg and then in my breading. And you really want to coat these chicken tenders because this is what's going to give it a nice crisp bite. You're going to mist the top of your tenders and we're going to pop this in the oven set at 450 for about 15 minutes. So they're baked, not fried. And I'm telling you, they're going to be crispy, crunchy on the outside and juicy and tender on the inside. Oh man, these look amazing. These are oven baked, they're not fried, they're crispy, crunchy on the outside, and they're juicy and tender on the inside. The best part, they cost $8 for a family of four. Mmm. Now things are really going to get interesting. This is the perfect recipe when you can't decide between tacos and mac and cheese. And that happens a lot in my house. So this is the ultimate culinary collision. I'm going to heat up a little bit of oil on the pan and then I'm going to add my ground meat. I'm using lean ground turkey meat. I'm going to break this up. And one of the things that I love so much about this recipe is it makes a great big batch. It makes about 15 cups. So I generally portion two cups per serving. I have plenty of leftovers and you can freeze the leftovers for future meals or you can eat them the next day. First, two taco seasoning packets. Pick up whatever's on sale, mild or spicy, eater's choice. Some water. Up. a can of black beans and this can certainly be white beans or kidney beans a can of corn and a jar of salsa and mix this up I have um, elbows that I have uh, boiled up and drained. If you could find whole grain, huge bonus. And now for the cheesy finish. As you can see, this makes a great big amount, about 15 cups. And at a two cup serving for a family of four, it's just $6. Joy, Joy wow, wow. that looks yummy. It was so good, guys. I wanted to jump in the pot. My family loves that one. <laughs> and I also have one more bonus recipe. It's a stuffed sweet potato with this black bean filling that's to die for and it's live on our Insta Instagram page right now. Awesome. That, that was awesome. Jen and I said it would be perfect for us two servings. So thank you so much. <laughs> we will be eating that. All right, you can find all Joy's recipes at today.com slash food. Check out her book, by the way, it's a staple at our house, mm -hmm. superfood at today.com slash shop. We are back with today food, and uh, after we just learned how to grocery shop on a budget, now we're going to learn how to cook on a budget as well. Joining us with budget-friendly meals that you can make for dinner tonight is an expert chef, Frankie Solenza. He's the host of the Taste Maid's hit series, Struggle Meals, where he creates gourmet dishes that will not break the bank. Frankie, you're just what the doctor ordered today. We need you. What are you going to make hey, for Hey, I got us? all five of you. Good morning. Good morning, Frankie. Frankie. Hey. Super cool. <laughs> what are you going to make? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make a mushroom cavatelli pasta. Mm -hmm. So I can show you that real quick. Obviously, pasta is super affordable, but if you just go buy semolina, which is a high gluten flour, um, you can make pasta with just semolina and water. Oh. Am I allowed to say gluten on air? Is that sure? Like, it's yeah, no, you're okay. It's you can okay. do it. So you literally just combine those, and then and then you can roll out sort of a snake here. Wow. Cut these up like this. Bing, 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 and then with your with your knife. You can just kind of windshield wiper. You see oh, that? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And you get these things called cavatelli because it means little hollows. And if you think of like cavity, for example, oh. the, you know, the Latin root cavity, cavatelli, cavity is a hole in your tooth. 
okay, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so what um, makes this whole thing budget friendly? So really, there's listen, there's a whole bunch of ways to save money. One of the biggest ones that people overlook because we live in the future and everything is available all the time is cooking in season. If you're cooking in season, it's not being transported long distance to get to you. Like, that's a great point. I don't know. Carson, would you go down to Argentina right now with the price of flights? Yes, I probably would. <laughs> if Jeff Blue went would? I'm Okay. There. Well, <laughs> if you want point. asparagus right now, it's yeah. coming from Argentina and right. you're paying for it to get on a plane flight. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. That's no good. No. So, right. right. Eat, Seasonal eat selections beets, are for close. Example. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've got a, uh, a rag here. You just roast the beet, mm -hmm. and hopefully this works because I did cook these last night. But essentially, if you just get a rag that you dedicate to this and, and use the friction of the rag, Wait, sort of this is the twist. Here. Yeah, oh. you twist the you twist the beet inside. Is a bird going to come get, out of there? Yeah. Did you see it? Like, oh, what? what? Yeah, That's cool. a pro so, magic. So beets are in season. They're a root vegetable. So is citrus. You can make a gorgeous citrus beet salad. Mm. Can I ask a dumb question, Frankie? Is there like a website yes. or a place you could learn where things are in season? Like, I have no idea. Just go to the grocery yeah. store. Yes, exactly. oh, absolutely. I mean, there's this whole like thing that we have in the palm of our hand with all of mankind's knowledge and you can just say winter vegetables and you'll oh. find that it's <laughs> so root the vegetables. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cruciferous right. vegetables, root it. vegetables, right. citrus, Mushrooms. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be. No, I deserve no, that. It was dumb. I told you it was dumb. <laughs> okay. We'll go back. Frank, so, where, where, so where's that's the a beet salad. Real... Go ahead. Where's the mushroom come in on the pasta? Different dish. So we've got our mushroom here. I cooked them naked in the pan. Mm. Got it. And then I added some fat after. It's mm. sort of counterintuitive. You want to dehydrate a mushroom so that then you can infuse it with fat, which is flavor. Mm. So I cooked it naked in the pan, they naked. shriveled up, water came out, mm. threw the butter and or olive oil in there. Yum. And now we've got, you know, we've got this mushroom. Okay, so there's mushroom. Yum. Okay. 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 That's the oh, mushrooms you go know? the cavities. And you're saying yeah, making your homemade pasta, that was, I mean, that was a good budget move too, right? It's a good budget move. Pasta is pretty affordable anyway, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. So, like, if you want to use a boxed pasta, mm -hmm. the thing is to just pair mm. it with in-season ingredients. I want to eat that. It's not that a problem at all. I hey, Frankie, yeah. does, you know, does I, homemade pasta, does it, does it change the cooking time? Yeah, it's a lot faster. Okay. So I put these in right at the start of the segment. They've got a self-timer built in. They float to the top when they're done. Oh. If uh, if you see it, it Frankie, takes like, you know, between Frankie, two and three minutes. You're an A-plus guest. We want to say thank you. Uh, yeah. You're great. You can find uh, res this recipe at today.com slash food, and you catch Frankie's show. Check it out. It's called Struggle Meals. It's Thursdays on Tastemade. Thank you, Frankie. Come back. Add in person next time, Frankie. Come yeah. back, Frankie. Come Thanks, back. guys. Oh, I can't wait to do it in person. Yeah.